Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, trying to speak a little quietly. As you can see, I'm in a different location uh, of the house. Um, but um, this is gonna be a quick video, um, mostly because, I don't know, it's, I don't like doing these videos in the public space, um, have anyone come through and, you know, any distractions. Uh, but there's a few things I kind of wanted to um, address, I guess. Uh, address is the right word. Uh, uh, first of all, I, I another huge thanks to the very, very generous person um, that sent me another donation um, when he didn't have to at all. Um, you know, I was just more than happy to speak with him and, you know, share my experience, you know, in hopes of helping him. Uh, and, you know, down the road, I'd like to do the same with other people um, just because there's not a whole lot online, especially personal um, accounts of uh, nitrous oxide abuse and the damage it causes. Um, so, yeah, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, now, you know, I have two months of my rent. I don't have to worry about. And with additional money, uh, which I actually took advantage of today, um, and actually bought myself some some nice hygiene stuff. Um, I know it sounds a little pathetic. Well, the facility that I went to my inpatient and I'm doing outpatient is the same facility that everyone in this house works for in dietary. Um, so I've been um, getting by on. Um, they have like essentially like small, like hotel bar, uh, bars of soap uh, and little uh, hotel uh, containers of um, shampoo. Um, so, <laughs> and then also a little tubes of a uh, toothpaste uh, and really crappy toothbrushes, which I'm thankful for. I'm glad, you know, I was still able to meet my hygienic needs. Um, but with that money, um, at Walmart, I actually, I bought myself some really nice shampoo, myself uh, some really nice soap, uh, got some floss. I haven't had floss in a while, so um, really, really thankful for all that. And also, I need to, uh, just because I have that money now, I'm not gonna splurge. Uh, I do wanna spend it wisely. I feel those were a pretty wise purchase. Um, my next thing is probably gonna be, <laughs> um, new shoes i don't know if this shows it very well but it's like peeling down here i've had these forever um the backs are all worn out uh so that's that's probably going to be my next purchase maybe tomorrow um but I, I plan to go like to goodwill or um ross or something someplace that has already used but cheaper stuff uh and see if i get something in in better condition so um, again, thank you. I, I really cannot understate my thanks. Um, and I, I do look forward to continuing to have contact with this person um, and hear their continued success with uh, uh, recovering from the nerve damage from nitrous oxide. Uh, another thing I want to address too, um, which you know, I kind of want to like hide because it's embarrassing. Um, but uh, you know, I, I've I've been learning honesty is really the best policy. Um, I'm I'm proud of myself because you know with that money, um, you know addiction is always gonna be running in the background. I mean, even if I'm 20 years clean, um, there's still gonna be that piece of me that's like, hey, um, so you know with this money, uh, I very briefly. But I shut that ish down um, very briefly. It was like, well, you know, with all this, I, I have enough. I can go get myself um, a whipped cream dispenser, buy several boxes of uh, cartridges, and then just like go out to a park or somewhere somewhat private, not in the house, do it. And then it's like, you know, that wouldn't show up on a drug test. Um, and it wears off relatively quickly. But it's, But that was immediately countered with like, that's that's so stupid. That's like the stupidest thing I could possibly do. Uh, and it's not even rewarding. I mean, it, it wouldn't be enjoyable, even if it was enjoyable. Uh, I, I'm glad that I'm strong enough in my recovery to, cause, cause the, you know, I do have to be honest with myself and be honest with others. I mean, those thoughts do come in my head like, 
you know, or buy beer or buy kratom, um, whatever the case might be. Um, but it's like, I, I just don't want that life anymore. I've been, life has been so good uh, ever since March of last year, pretty much uh, April 1st, which is my clean date. And uh, I, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Um, not to mention, I mean, if I spent my money on that, then I wouldn't be putting my money towards things that benefit my health, um, my well-being. Uh, and that's just stupid on so many levels. So um, I kind of just wanted to kind of briefly talk about that. Uh, and then the last thing, um, which is why I'm doing this, uh, doing this video um, in our living room uh, instead of uh, my room, is uh, fortunately um, the housemate that was MIA since last Friday, um, he came through like 10 or 10.30 this morning. Um, and, um, you know, it was really great to see him. I'm glad he came back. Uh, I'm really hoping that he'll be able to pretty quickly get back on track. I think someone's coming home soon. <laughs> I need to cut this video soon. Um, but I'm glad. I'm glad he's back. But he's in rough shape. I mean, he's in really, really rough shape. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say on that. Um, but I'm glad he's. I'm glad he's here. I'm glad he's safe. Um, like I said, hopefully he can get back on track and uh, kind of recover both mentally and physically, and probably even spiritually. Um, you know, and, and and continue to do well. Um, so that's really good news. I'm really glad that that he showed up. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, you know, I guess the three main points of this video, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, very much uh, for the generous donation. Um, that really means a lot. Um, I was, I'm glad I was able to help on some degree. Uh, and I just want that person to know that that has such a huge impact. Um, on me and my quality of life because uh, with food stamps fortunately I get food stamps um, and other household things here like uh, laundry soap uh, paper towels toilet paper uh, that is provided but um, there's really no uh, I mean I was able to get them to hook it up with the um, little hotel stuff um, but uh, typically I mean they don't really provide hygiene stuff um, so it was really nice to be able to actually buy like some really good soap and really good shampoo and finally get floss. Um, and then, like I said, to be able to buy myself shoes uh, when those ones are so worn. Um, I'm very appreciative of that. And this tea is okay. Yeah. Um, it's a non-caffeinated uh, like peach something tea. It has chamomile and stuff. It was a dollar, so I'm just like, mm, why not? But yeah, I mean, EBT food stamps don't cover that stuff, um, you know, because obviously it's only for food purchases and soap is not food, <laughs> um, nor is clothing. Um, so yeah, so thank you. Um, and then again, I just wanted to kind of be upfront. Um, uh, another thing I'll say too is like, you know, it's like, I, how do I want to phrase this? I can't just be perpetually broke because uh, it's like if I don't have the money to buy stuff, then I'm protected. But at the same time, then I have no money for rent. I have no money for clothes and hygiene stuff. So it's like I'm really glad that I'm in this environment and I'm doing so well in my recovery that I could receive money like that. And, you know, of course that thought's going to pop up. I, I'm sure most people in recovery where I have uh, had challenges with addiction can relate. Um, but just to shut that completely down, just be like, no, dude, that's incredibly stupid, incredibly wasteful. Um, so yeah, I'm really thankful for that, Evan. Um, of course, uh, I'm extremely thankful um, that the housemate has returned. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to do a video yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling super great. I'm still not like... I've been up and down, feeling like I'm like fighting off a sickness. I'm not sick, but I don't know. Just 
probably probably from uh, fatigue i don't know um but yeah uh i'm gonna end the video here um <laughs> thank you again for, you know for the gen generosity and um thank you for all the viewers too i really appreciate everyone that watches and uh, especially comments uh, i really enjoy speaking with people or, or answering people's comments as best i can uh, and hopefully be able to speak with people um, one on one uh, more in the future. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna try to continue to make more frequent videos. That's also why I wanted to do it today, get myself back in that habit. Obviously, I don't want to do it in my room and wake up my roommate. He obviously needs um, the sleep. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys uh, very much. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.